Okay, so I just thought I would take a little bit of a video coming down toward the house on Caxambas uh, Court, 1501 Caxambas Court. Uh, we're about a tenth of a mile away from the property, just before you the bridge. You are one tenth of a mile from your destination on the left. It tells everybody that. Here I am at the house. This is coming up on the house. This is the house here on the left hand side. I'll pull in. Just came up on it right before the bridge. Good looking property. Uh, it's got about 8,181 total square foot under uh, air. A six car garage has two cars on this side and on this other side it's actually a double deep garage so you can park four cars in here it's about 12,895 square feet including all the outside area and as soon as I come in I'll start this video over again Okay, so we're walking through the front door. To the left is a large dining area. To the right um, is a hallway going back over to the upstairs. There are two staircases going upstairs. Uh, there is one bronze that's here in the entryway, and this will not be staying with the property. Uh, the mailbox that you saw out front will also not be staying. Uh, there is one large painting here in this living room that will not be staying. Um, also all the small plants and um, all of the kitchenware, uh, cups, saucers, eating utensils. Here's a kitchen. This is all updated in 2019. Beautiful flooring, beautiful, beautiful layout. Uh, brand new uh, Miele uh, double ovens has uh, double dishwashers both of them are hidden over here so that you can see them okay. fabulous family room down here and it goes out so that you can go out onto the back of the house as well. All the wine in the wine fridge will stay too. This house is actually has two um, sub-zero refrigerator freezers that were installed in 2019. Drawers, refrigerated drawers and freezer drawers as well. Here's into the butler's pantry and the pantry itself. Very large, lots of storage space in the pantry. I'm not sure what this is, but we will open it up just to see. I think it's just a storage area underneath um, the stairs. And just a storage area underneath the stairs. Okay. Come back out. Okay, so after coming out of the butler's pantry, over on this right hand side is actually what used to be known as a butler staircase which goes up to the upper level from this side over here there's also a half bath that's very nicely appointed and 
and back over here on this side the rest of the way we have a very large laundry room on this floor and this also has a melee appliances for washer and dryer a sink and I would assume that this is a linen closet of some sort or just a storage closet and then this goes out to the two car garage on this side over here I'll open that up just so that you can see you got a two car garage on this side over here Okay. Come back out. We're going to finish up this first floor before we go upstairs. Go through the kitchen. Again, back over to the left here. This side, this is the first floor theater room. You don't see it from all angles. And all the theater equipment stays with this home. This home comes furnished. It is not turnkey, but it does come furnished. You have storage cabinets. All kinds of storage cabinets out here in this hallway. We have a nice suite over on this side with a large walk-in closet. There's attic storage space that you can get into that's just above this room. And then there's a full bath on this side that could double also as a pool bath because it has access to the outside from here as you can see they did an extensive amount of work on this house in 18 and 19 including complete remodel of the kitchen area this is another angle of the kitchen area you've got several eating spaces and several gathering places in here as well the uh, another item that doesn't stay are the wines in the sub-zero wine fridge here they do not stay with the property This property sits on about a half acre lot and it's really wonderful. This is a, a study or a den, whichever way that you want to call it. Lots of space here. Most of the personal items will not remain. But for the most part, this is pretty much a furnished unit. All the beds stay, all the bedroom furniture. A lot of the paintings stay, almost everything else stays. This is the master suite, and is this what you would like to be waking up every morning seeing from your room in this house? Is that gorgeous or what? All right, so we can come back over here to the right in the master suite, and they do have all kinds of push buttons in order to up lower and raise the uh, blinds and all this. Here's the master suite bath. It has a toilet with a bidet and then it also has just another toilet room as well as his and her sinks. At least in this instance, it's his or hers. Uh, a jetted tub. 
which I believe is a jacuzzi, it looks like, and a large glass shower system with double heads. All right. Over here is the master closet. This is his side, and this happens to be her side. And the security system is up in the corner there so that you know what to do as far as if you need to get into it. All right, so we're back out of the master bedroom. And over here is entry into the bigger garage, which actually has space and you can get in from both sides. And you could put four cars in here pretty easily. Water heater is new as well. And it has a whole house uh, vacuum system. And it's about a 100 gallon water system in here. And that's electric. All the cabinets are out here. Again, attic storage above this garage. Vehicles do not stay. <laughs> All right, so let's go up this staircase to the second floor. And then we'll come back out and we'll go do a walkthrough on the outside. Beautiful staircase, and this is all marble. Fabulous inlaid cherry wood floors. First bedroom up here. On the right hand side of the house, it has its own balcony. These are all hurricane rated windows, and uh, in this house, full bath attached to this one, so it has its own ensuite plus a large walk in closet. What better place to put a pool table? <coughs> so you have a rec room up on the second floor. <coughs> we'll go right over here to this side for just a second so that you can see this. It does have a brand new set of LG washer and dryer on the second floor that they just put in last year. So that sort of thing, as you're going down the Butler side, you actually see there's a, I think that looks like a storage unit on the wall. Great game room. Does have a, a sub kitchen upstairs. So it has a sink and everything. Here's bedroom number four with its own ensuite. Beautiful flooring everywhere. All the flooring is beautiful on this house. And this one has two full beds in it. Um, if it were me, I would take one of these. These are called sleigh beds. I'd take one out so that you would be able to get out 
to this great view out of this bedroom to being able to see that vista right there. Okay, just my thoughts. And a nice size closet. All has built-ins. Every closet we've seen so far has its own built-ins. <coughs> Go further back. This is bedroom number five that has a set of full-size bunk beds on this side, which is great. Because I know that you're probably going to want to bring down lots of family or lots of family is going to be coming down to visit. And it, again, has double sliders going out of this room onto that same upstairs patio. And then finally, bedroom number six. And again, beautiful views. And this has got a 90 degree window to it so you can actually open up the whole corner on this one and just look at that view back there it's a lot right across the street over here across the canal um, that particular ca canal lot right there I was just told I haven't looked it up yet but I was just told it is listed for that blank lot for 6.3 million dollars This house is on a little bit less acreage than that one is. It's listed at 8.3. I'm sorry, 8.49. This is the bath for this upstairs master suite. Beautiful. Walk in shower. Fabulous flooring throughout. They have Berber carpet. They have a uh, marble, you name it, they've got it all the way through here. This one has one set of closets on this side. And it has another set of closets on this side. So you've got plenty of closet space in this home. And these are all solid doors. These are not your typical uh, hollow core doors. So everything in here is a solid wood door or a solid door painted door so and that's all that I have for the upstairs uh, I will go downstairs and go outside and give you a view of all that first thing I'll do is I'll go over here so that you can see down into the lower level which is the main living area with the fireplace and the seating and now I'm going to go outside all right, so one thing I forgot to say, in the kitchen, it's a wolf uh, stove, and that's, uh, that's new as well. And here we are outside in the jar. Beautiful swimming pool. Great sun shelf here. And it goes down. I'm not sure that they've had it cleaned here lately. Because it looks like somebody needs to do a little bit of cleanup on it. Over on this side, a couple of chaises. These probably go into the pool. I'm going to take you around on this side first. Just saw a dolphin jump out here, which was pretty cool. And going out that way is 10,000 Island. And that's a great place for you to go kayaking. On this right side over here, you have two boat docks. This uh, one to the left here, uh, they actually have a, it's rated to up to uh, a four engine. Uh, 
boat and we'll take a minimum or a maximum of a 35 foot boat and over here is a smaller boat if you've got like a uh, we, we talked that you may be looking for something else like a uh, pontoon or something like that okay so i'm back out here sorry i had to take a phone call but <laughs> that sometimes happens when you're doing live filming but this is the view that you're getting from the back of the house nice breeze coming in today and this is the back of the house itself so that you can see it and this is a horizon pool so this would normally have water flowing all over this uh, but currently the pumps and all are off all right so we're going to walk over here to this other section and they've got a lot of other additional outdoor furniture that they just put in underneath of this because what they have here are the storm blinds and they put these on all of this right here okay and these are all electric and so you don't have to worry about these windows because they already have them in here and then the ones over on that side are all hurricane rated doors and windows so you don't have to have them over there but we'll come over here and we'll take a look at this spot where the outdoor is and uh, in comparison to some of the other ones that I've seen this is it's an okay setup but it's really just a grill. It's a good grill, but it's still just a grill. You know, I always tell you that I'm gonna send you, and I always video these things, is the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's always the good and bad and the ugly according to Rick. Maybe not anybody else. We'll walk on this little path down here to get down into the grass area. Just simply gorgeous really is a great looking place um, if you're interested in this one please give me a call and we'll work out a pricing strategy on where I think that we ought to be I'd love to help you get into this house so give me a call it's Rick Hogue United Real Estate Infinity 239-910-8987 Thanks. Bye now.